Okay, now let's let's do what we what we did here and try to apply it here. Yeah. Here we have remember in the lesson where we discussed the um, confusion matrix, we had a categorical y. Y is either one or zero, and one means a person is obese, and zero means not obese. And the feature here, there was only one, is the weight of the person. Yeah. And this was the this is a graph we have, and if you do a lot of measurements, you will you will end up with something like this, and uh, I scatter all the points here as well, yeah? So and now if you try to uh, to make a line that connects all these points, it's not going to be a very good line, as you can imagine. This is y predict equals wx plus b yeah? you will have issues and why do you have issues well first of all here you're gonna see that for these points all these vertical lines are negative so y cannot be negative cannot yeah? and also y y cannot be bigger than one, can also not, okay? But there's another issue, um, y cannot be between zero and one, yeah? Also not. So basically, this line will not get us very far. And that's why we need to do something else. Okay, let's now see if we can uh, find something better than this. We're gonna start from your general vector formulation, W transpose X, you should know by now. And we're gonna define an odds ratio. Odds ratio. Uh, is the number of successes divided by the number of failures. Yeah, so in this case, let us uh, see you have a data set with, uh, with four heads and two tails. Yeah, so let us calculate success means uh, H. So I have four successes and two failures. Yeah. Of course, this is the same as 2 to 1. And that's when you hear on TV or sometimes people talking, you know, he, his odds are 2 to 1. This is that ratio. Okay? Now, we have a bit of a uh, problem here. Um, that is that we want to work with probabilities. Why do we want to work with probabilities? Well, because then you can actually convert easily to 1 or to 0. Yeah? Um, so let's, um, let's see. Yeah? In, uh, in probabilities, uh, these 4 out of 2, basically let's take the heads. You have 4 heads, but you had 6, uh, you know, uh, uh, six items here. That is success and failure is you had 2 out of six. Yeah, four out of six is the chance, right, is the, the chance of heads and two out of six is one minus the chance of heads. So you see they can uh, disappear but basically the formula is P divided by one minus P. Yeah. This is how you convert odds to probabilities. So these are probabilities. Probabilities. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the natural log of that and uh, make it equal to W transpose X. So we have 
this and this is W transpose X uh, and but we take the log sorry we take the natural log yeah so here we link you know our our prediction to probabilities yeah so now we're gonna take the exponent of both so this an exponent neutralizes so that means that p divided by, by one, one minus p equals e to the w transpose x okay simple as that so this one minus p i put here yeah so p equals um, e to the w transpose x minus minus p e to the w transpose x okay and I bring this to the other side so that means that uh, p plus p to the e w transpose x right I bring this there equals e to the w transpose x so and that means that now I bring the p outside so 1 plus e to the w transpose x equals e to the w transpose x so that means that p equals e to the w transpose x divided by 1 plus e to the w transpose x yeah? and this is uh, so people know this formula slightly different and they multiply with usually with uh, e to the minus w transpose x on top and of course the same in the denominator uh, minus w transpose x yeah. so these two cancel each other out so that means that p equals uh, 1 divided by and that is uh, minus plus okay so I need to calculate this yeah so you have e to the minus w transpose x yeah and then plus that times that plus one yeah plus one but we see it like this p equals 1 divided by 1 plus e to the minus w transpose x and this is uh, this of course gives us the probability of heads yeah um, this we call we call the the sigmoid function sigmoid function yeah and that function we've seen in the uh, in the lesson where we discussed about uh, confusion matrix remember that uh, we had linear data the weight of people and we needed to transform the probabilities we use this curve right there. we use this curve right this s-shaped curve and this is your your sigmoid yeah? uh, sigmoid of w transpose x yeah? so here it's uh, it's really nice because um, you will always get a number uh, y equal to 0 or y equal to 1 